Hey, how you doing? Yeah, that's a kind of a short clip, but that's for a reason, of course. I mean, I heard the helicopter and I went outside to see it and it's shining a spotlight right in my face. So I come back in, grab the camera, go back out. Oh, great. No memory card. Come back in, get it out of the uh, computer, go back out. And uh, anyway, that's all the uh, video that I got of it before they uh, pulled away. But uh, anyway, nothing like being under surveillance, huh? So anyway, we can tell that this is uh, an airplane or a helicopter, right? Because of the uh, running lights, we can even tell what direction it's going. But it's a little bit harder to discern what these might be, okay? I know that they've got an incandescent spotlight right here in the front because they had been shining it in my face for quite a while before they turned. And so the rest of these uh, right here, I don't think are incandescent um, cameras. I think those are infrared or FLIR uh, cameras. And uh, did you happen to notice right there at the end of the video? If not, go back and have a look at it. You'll see right at the end, I got green flashed right there. Now, what is that, a targeting laser or something else? I don't know, you know, uh, what to think at this point with these uh, guys out here running around doing whatever it is that they're doing. But according to the Pentagon Papers, you know, they released to Congress, uh, they don't do any testing outside restricted airspaces, and I don't live in Area 51 or anywhere near it. So, you know, um, I'm starting to think some of these things out here are not ours, and they're trying to figure out who and what in the heck they are, too. So anyway, this here is a screen grab from a video I want to show you in infrared. This was taken back on... Um, July the 9th, 2021, the uh, helicopter guys showed up just a couple days ago. There's another screen grab of it. And notice this uh, interesting configuration here, where it's sort of flat here on the top, has this like dome area on it, and a little bread basket on the bottom. That's its uh, general you know, shape, basic shape. I think it kind of changes shape a little bit as it goes. Um, a little bit, not a whole lot, but I mean, some of them more than others. This one here just kind of maintained the basic shape right here. And I was looking at this video in uh, different filters, and I uh, screen grabbed this particular color right here uh, just because um, a photograph that I've managed to take of this object uh, because the video, I tried taking a video with the 900, and it just doesn't do where the hoot at night, but you can get some images with it anyway. So um, I took two images. This is one of them right here. Of course, it's blurry, but anyway, let's work with what we got. You can see the uh, object right here, right here, and better right here. This is one second at 125 millimeters, and basically here is the object. You know what I'm saying? So the camera was moving, and it just happened to have a harmonic moment right here, and it captured the uh, image of the uh, object itself. So uh, that's why I picked that red uh, screen grab, because this is the actual color of it. But uh, anyway, let me show you the uh, infrared of it. Yeah, I know. I should call this a shaky potato website or something, right? What do you expect? You have a good camera to an old man, and this is what you get. But I mean, you know, that doesn't look like an aircraft uh, landing light to me. I mean, at first, you know, if you just look at it and you have that in your mind and you glance away, that's, you know, that's all you'll ever know. But if you stop to look at things and study them a little bit more, you know, instead of just jumping to a conclusion or letting somebody else decide for you ahead of time what you should think and think for yourself, it really does get interesting out here. Because, you know, that truth thing is always so more fascinating than fiction. 
And I think the truth is right here. This is not one of ours. Not sure what it is or where it's from, but. Just pretty sure it's not ours, that's all. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, having a look. And uh, hope you uh, like, share, and subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff. And uh, make sure you take care out there no matter what you're doing. And thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate it. Take care.